Hey everyone, I'm 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with a Weather Now update. It's about 7.15, 7.20 in the evening, and it was a busy one. We were tracking scattered strong to severe storms all across the area for this afternoon. The severe threat has now since ended, so some good news there, but we are seeing some residual effects in the form of some flash flooding. And we have flash flood warnings in effect for most of Providence County until 845 later this evening. You can see the outlined in red in the boxes there on your screen. Anywhere from Providence up towards Smithfield and even out west into northeast Connecticut into Putnam County, we are seeing these flash flood warnings being uh, issued and continuing on. So live radar, most of the heaviest rain has since pushed well to the north of our area and also the storms that we had that moved through earlier, the severe storms, they have fizzled on out and dissipated and we're seeing at least some dry weather for right now for the most part a few scattered light showers moving through parts of the area zoomed in uh, view here you can see some light showers across uh, providence county especially across northern sections of providence county so again hit or miss showers for the next couple of hours as we get a lull in the activity a live look outside this is the capital city of providence you can see lots of clouds lots of fog and actually a short time ago we really couldn't see much in this shot because there was the storm moving through but that has since cleared on out and you can see temperatures in the upper 70s winds out of the east southeast around five miles per hour dew points also on the muggy and tropical side in the mid 70s and here is what is supposed to be newport but uh you can't see much here it's just a grade foggy screen as there's some fog down in newport on the coast so that is causing some serious visibility issues there temperatures all across the area in the 70s you can actually see uh, the cooler temperatures in the low 70s in the northern part of the state that's where all that rain fell so it helped cool things down just a little bit and here's the visibility you can see again three tenths of a mile in newport so very low visibility down along the uh, south shore and uh, that visibility is lowering also in parts of um, the east bay and also out towards places like north kingstown and narragansett so again foggy night ahead with cloudy skies and showers continuing through 8 p.m a spot storm but that severe threat has diminished and we're looking at a chance of showers lingering right into the overnight hours and also into early tomorrow morning 60% chance of showers coming in around 5 a.m. And as we go forward into tomorrow morning, uh, we'll be seeing again on and off showers possible from time to time. Temperatures in the 70s rising to near 80 by lunchtime with more showers possible for the afternoon, along with some rumbles of thunder as well. So keep that in mind that we are going to be seeing that continue really much through the rest of the weekend. So not... Uh, any dry spells coming up for us, at least in the foreseeable future. We have showers lingering into Sunday and also into Monday. So we'll have more updates to come, but just to recap, severe threat has lowered. Now we're just looking for some more rain to come through of the lighter variety as we go into later on tonight. Thank you all for logging on. We'll talk to you soon.